the rumors were true. The nerd in is back. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning again. Daniel Valdez again. It's a pleasure and honor to talk to you. Thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. For those of you who have stuck with me and have enjoyed the, the show for a while, thank you for your patronage. For those of you who are new to this little thing that I do, hi. How's it going? Daniel Valdez here. Let's talk. We're going we're gonna to talk about the BOA McAllen Regional. We call this the nerd in. We go over the schedule. We go over the contest. We look at the uniqueness of each of these contests. We focus on the Texas programs or the Texas shows, I should say. And uh, we just talk. And then after I'm done, I get out of your way. You enjoy the week. I can get back to my professional life because there's a lot going on right now. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. So here we go. Uh, let's we'll, we'll talk over the stuff and then uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. A couple of ground, a couple of ground rules first. Uh, like I said, we're going to go over the schedule, do that fun stuff. Uh, 12 programs for the BOA McCown Regional, 12 of them go to finals. Regardless of class, class A, double A, 3A, and 4A, uh, regardless of class, top 12 get in. Uh, one through six place after prelims go on last, mixed up in random order. And then seven through 12 uh, go on first in finals, mixed up together. Cool, cool. So you're going to kind of know who's top six. Who's who? You're gonna know who's top six, who's good, and who's seven through twelve. But you're not gonna know the exact placements because it's all random draw and that that sort of stuff. So don't freak out. Don't start any false rumors. <laughs> That's uh, uh, that 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 didn't help anybody. So very unique contest. Boe McCallan, great stuff. I mean, let's get to it. If you're ready, I'm ready, ladies and gentlemen. Again. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Here we go. Welcome for the first time in 2022 to the Nerd Inn. We are at the Bands of America South Texas Regional Championship presented by Yamaha Corporation of America, September 17th, 2022, McAllen Veterans Memorial Stadium in McAllen, Texas. 24 bands currently signed up. 12 of them are going to go to finals, and one of them is going to walk out of here as the 2022 South Texas BOA Regional Champion. Let's get to it. We are starting early, 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 early. Get your coffee, get your breakfast sandwiches, get your breakfast tacos, whatever you need to do. We're starting early in prelims, and we're ending early in prelims. We're going to explain that in a little bit. 7 a.m. start time. By the way, we had several programs uh, sign up. A little bit past the uh, postmark date, there's a certain date that you would have to sign up for uh, at the beginning of the year. Otherwise, they kind of tack you on at the beginning or they put you on at the beginning of the the programs in order for fairness and stuff like that. So we had several programs sign up late or not. I put late in quotes for this uh, particular contest. So here we go. We're starting at 7 a.m. with Gladys Porter Early College at 7 a.m. James Pace is going on at 715. Pioneers going on at 730. They were at the 5A state marching contest last year. Uh, Enberg's going on at 745, Mission at 8 o'clock. Enberg North was at the 6A state contest last year. They're going on at 815. McAllen at 830 and uh, Nikki Rowe, McAllen, Nikki Rowe at 845. Then we take a break, take a little bit of a breather, relax a bit. Then we come right back. 930, Robert Vela at, at uh, 930, Medina Valley at 945, Missions Veterans Memorial at 10 a.m. Uh, Rio Grande City was a uh, was at the Texas 5A State Marching Contest last year. They were at 1015. PSJA Early College at 1030, McAllen Memorial at 1045, Santa Rosa at 11, and Sherryland is going to be going on at 1115 a.m. Then we take, we take an hour lunch. Take an hour lunch. Relax a little bit, chill out, hopefully get some shade. And then uh, right after that, after break, we're coming right back with Del Rio High School at 1215. Always a finalist here, 1215 Del Rio. United at 1230, Port Isabel at 1245. Uh, John B. Alexander was at the 6A state contest last year. They're going on at 1 o'clock. Hidalgo Early College High School is going on at 115. Roma barely missed out on state uh, 5A state finals. And I mean barely. And depending on who you talk to, me, uh, probably could have made a very, very good case for being in. Uh, 130, Roma High School's back, coming back. Sandra Day O'Connor coming in from San Antonio is at 145. And then 2 o'clock, we're ending prelims at 2 o'clock with who else? Presenting the reigning, defending BOA South Texas Regional Champions, the Lewis D. Brandeis, the pride of the Northside High School, coming down, Bronco Band, 2 o'clock, coming back. 
see if they can defend their title there. Excellent, excellent stuff. So you're probably wondering, why are we starting early? Why are we ending early uh, with prelims? Last year's heat wave and last year's situation at this contest was a very challenging one. Very challenging one, very dangerous one. So heat mitigation, we start everything super early and we end at 2 o'clock. Um, that's that's what we're doing. Now, here's here's the thing here. The start time for finals is the same time as it usually is. So you're starting, so you're ending prelims at two o'clock. Then you're going to do your award, your prelims awards. And then I don't want to pull up the daily schedule right now. Uh, the first performing band in finals isn't until 730. That's a long time between uh, prelims and finals. But because of heat mitigation, we want to make sure that these programs are safe. We want to make sure that everybody's kind of got a level playing field, that nobody's performing in too into a grade of a heat a wave. We don't want what happened last year. What happened last year was pretty was pretty scary. We don't want that. As far as we know right now, the the <laughs> I'm pulling up the weather right now in McAllen. Saturday, it's supposed to be a high of 93. Okay, cool. Last year it was like a thousand and three degrees last year. So I don't think heat's gonna be an issue. The issue here is a 60% chance of rain on Saturday. So hopefully we're able to get through the contest, at least get through prelims. I'm not sure, you know, how that's going to work. Hopefully the rain stays off. Hopefully, and especially not just the rain, but hopefully the lightning stays off because most contest delays are done because of lightning. That's something we can't really control. The rain stuff, you know, you put the electronics away. You're trying to make sure that the field, you, you, you not, not necessarily manageable, but I don't want to say work around, but it's one of those things where it's like lightning is the, is the greater danger here <laughs> uh, because you're walking around with, you know, <laughs> brass instruments and nobody wants to see a, a trombone player get hit by lightning. Nobody wants to. Okay. Stop telling me that they do. They don't deserve it. Even though. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting contest. Uh, doesn't look like heat is going to be uh, much of a factor, but the rain chances and stuff like that, that could, that could put a, that could put a damper on things, but we're not going to think about that. We're going to hopefully, hopefully that all these contests, all these, all these great programs down in South Texas are able to get their, their, uh, get their performances in and hopefully we can get to a finals thing. And hopefully we don't have a situation like we had last year to all the programs out there that are coming to South Texas, to all of the parents and all the fans and everybody who's going to be coming to this contest Start hydrating now. Start taking care of yourself now. I know that's not going to be as hot as it was last year, but at the same time, you don't want to risk it. Stay, stay hydrated. Drink your water. And eat healthy meals. I know coming from me, that sounds like I'm. That sounds ridiculous, but hey, you know what? Let's make sure everything everybody's good there. Um, you know, we don't want any incidents like we had uh, last year. So a pretty good contest. I believe the attendance is up from last year. I believe it is by a couple of programs. Um, and like we got a lot of the same programs that came here last year, they're gonna be coming back uh, this year as well. We got Brandeis coming back, of course. They're the defending champions. A lot of great programs that had success later on in the season by reaching state marching contests, uh, uh, whether it's five or six A. So, lot to look for here. It's the first one of the season. These programs love competing against each other. They love their local contests. They love they see each other all the time, whether they're playing football where they're doing parades, doing civic events, or they're, they're, they're actually competing against each other. So uh, just good luck to everybody out there. Have fun this weekend. If you're driving down from any far distances, please be safe. Take your time. Leave with enough time. Uh, this is a very popular contest. A lot of people come here. So uh, if you're going to be catching one of these early programs starting early in the morning, make sure you have a lot enough time to get there and, and go through the lines and whatnot. And of course, always be safe and take care of yourself. It's going to be an excellent, excellent contest. It's the first one of the year in the state of Texas. Oh, and guess what? By the way, we have the Texas bands, the world famous Texas bands live blog uh, being featured on Box 5 TV. Yes, again, again, they, they're they so gracious to have us back. You're going to be able to see your uh, Box 5 TV uh, stream. And then right below it is going to be the Texas Bands Live blog. The nerds are back. We're, we're going to do as many events across the country as we possibly can. So you're going to see stuff from McAllen. You may be seeing stuff from Ohio and Tennessee and possibly New Mexico, that regional that's going to be, that brand new Mexico regional that's going to be featuring several Texas programs over there. And, and good luck to all those Texas programs going out to New Mexico to compete at the Las Cruces regional. So uh, Texas Bands Live Blog, it's going to be there. It's going to be awesome, just like it was before. 
Um, happy to work with Box Five TV. Love to love to to contribute to the uh, to the programming there. So be sure to look for us there. We're gonna be blanketing you with all sorts of, uh, of of just material just to let you know that hey, that's where you need to find us. Come find us there. We'd be happy to take care of you. And of course, we'll have links just in case uh, you're not able to uh, be uh, by a by a phone or a computer or anything like that. You can still read along, and uh, you know we'll have the same great content as we always have. I'm done here. So that's it for the McAllen Regional. I'm done here. I want you all to be safe. Have fun. Good luck to all these Texas programs that competing at the South Texas Regional. And, uh, of course, after the nerd in here next week, we'll do the uh, the cherry on, the cherry on top of the event, the recap, even though cherries suck. But uh, <laughs> that's the rule we have here. And, um, and then we'll just move forward with the rest of the Texas contest. So thank you all so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. We will see you in the stands. Oh, quick, quick uh, note, by the way, I will let you all know if, any, if there are any events that I am able to attend in person, I will let you know. Uh, you're probably not going to find out until the week of the event because I got a lot of stuff going on with work and that sort of stuff. And, and it's a very fluid schedule. So it's it's something that needs to be determined the week of instead of I, I like to tease this sort of stuff a week or week or two weeks in advance. But with what's going on in my professional life, I just can't be, I can't keep doing that. And then, Oh wait, I can't go. Oh wait, I can't go. No, I, I hate doing that. I absolutely hate doing that. So um, I'll let you all know through the appropriate channels at Dampod Valdrez on Instagram at Dampod Valdrez on Twitter as well. Make sure to follow the Texas bands.com Facebook page because we'll be posting results from Texas shows and stuff like that. We'll be posting all that stuff as it comes in, as it's verified, all that fun stuff. Cool. Cool. I'm done here. I'm out of the way. It's time to go eat dinner. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're all safe. I hope you all are well. Love you all so much. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.